This is not a stereo boom system. This is a Buchla easel, a prime representative of a style of synthesis called West Coast synthesis, the most nonlinear process in analog synthesis. Just around the same time when subtractive synthesis was solidifying itself as a modern instrument in the 1960s, on the other side of the coast, another type of system was in development that had the goal of creating organic rich timbers without having to play any keyboard, something that's more timberly centric. So while subtractive synthesis starts with rich harmonic content and then tames it down with a filter, West Coast synthesis goes in the opposing direction where it uses simple oscillator waves and then takes it through modulation course of frequency modulation, wave shaping and wave folding and finally low pass gating to create a super rich dynamic timbrel palette. Two of its main signature propensities are the wave folding which literally folds the wave after it passes a certain threshold and the second unique signature mark is using a low pass gate to control amplitude and filtering as opposed to a VCF and a VCA. What other signature marks are linked to West Coast synthesis? Well, it's timber centric, not pitch centric. And instead of being driven by keyboard, it's being driven by voltage. Instead of being stable and tonal, it's dynamic and inharmonic. So essentially it's a modulation based type of synthesis that creates new harmonics by running a bunch of nonlinear processes. Without a doubt, West Coast synthesis is the most unpredictable of all analog synthesis methods by far, 